Howdy, y'all. It's Ryan and Aiden. <laughs> and Aiden, and it's Saturday morning, right? Right. We're from r and Music, the vlogging lollies. Turn right onto FM 3227. Okay, Pat, I will do that. Uh, it's Saturday, and so, you know, we shoot vlog videos to show you guys what it's like living in small town East Texas, owning a business, in the music industry. In 5.6 miles, the destination is on your left. 27. <laughs> so follow along, you can check out our day, what it's like a day in the life of an East Texas family who owns a guitar store. I'm so excited. All right, right now, Aiden and I are going to a 4-H meeting, which is a 4-H is a club for kids, basically, like kids, teenagers, but it's uh, kind of a farm type thing, and they have all kinds of stuff. They, you, know, you raise animals for shows, and they have all kinds of classes. It's like a community type organization for helping kids and young adults learn skills, and all that kind of stuff. We're doing a sharpshooting class. <coughs> They have a sharpshooting class, and that's what Aiden is going to today. And we're, this will be our first time going to the sharpshooting class with the 4 H, so it should be interesting. Um, we're gonna go over some, lots of safety safety rules first. And uh, yeah, this is funny because we're out here in the country, out outside of town, like close to where my my aunt and uncle used to live, where I used to live when I grew up. So it's kind of interesting. See y'all in a bit. Hi guys, it's Angela, Yo. Nicholas, Nicholas, and Sean, my nephew. Say hi, Sean. Hey. <laughs> and we're here at the house. Ryan is with Aiden doing his 4-H sharpshooting safety class. And now Nicholas and I are going to move the elliptical into our garage because it's turning into our workout area. The punching bag's in there, the um, weights, the weight bench, and all that stuff. So... We're gonna we're transitioning that into a workout room. So now the elliptical is gonna go in there, and my desk that's in my bedroom is gonna go against that wall. And since I have a giant, right? See the elliptical right there, right there. It's hard to point whenever you. Yeah. Anyways, that's what we're about to do. Um, He's running at me. It's and Sean is playing Minecraft. So that's what we're doing right now. I just got off the phone with my mom and they're having breakfast in the radio. We had donuts. We'll pick in the blankets and some donuts for breakfast. Um, I haven't eaten that yet. And uh, I'll save it for later. But um, yeah, that's what we're doing. And I'm crocheting, like always. So yeah, so here we go.
So now I'm going to, <laughs> of all places, Dollar General. Nicholas has already been to Dollar General today. And um, I'm going to go to get some cleaning supplies. We moved the couch, moved the elliptical. And because we have a German Shepherd, a lot of dog hair was underneath our couch. <laughs> so now we're going to um, Swiffer that up and clean that up. Because I like clean surfaces before I move things. I don't like just moving things on top of just dirty stuff. I like to have a clean workspace. So that's what I'm going to do. Clean it all up. Okay. Good morning. I already saw one egg today. Yes. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you? Good. Good. Clean the house. <laughs> oh, yes. All the Christmas stuff. Bye bye, Thanksgiving. <laughs> Cleaning stuff off. Here we are. This morning, Ryan and we went to get some ice cream. I treated the boys out for some ice cream. Yay. Miss Aiden did such an amazing job at sharpshooting. We decided to go and get some Dairy Palace ice cream. They got cotton candy, cookies and cream, cookie dough, and I got mint chocolate chip, which is the best ever. So, there you yeah. go. Now we're headed home to finish cleaning. I'm procrastinating enough today. It's time to get to work. It looks like I have a see you at the house. What's up guys? I am here at the shop now. Nicholas opened the shop for me because Aiden and I were just getting back from the 4-H uh, gun safety class and 22 shooting class sharpshooters club and uh hey nicholas is gone now and i'm at work handling the shop one of my students just popped in and needs to restring on his guitar so i'm about to do that he popped one while he was practicing this morning so i'm going to restring it i'm going to clean it up for him too because uh he plays it a lot mason is really into playing so i'm real proud of him and it's kind of neat he has the very first chapman guitars cap 10 signature to ever arrive in america which we had first we got it from the 2014 nam show we were the very first store in america to have any chapman guitars for sale it's a true story we are the first store in america to have any for sale which was all of the all of the 2014 nam chapman guitars um, we acquired all of those at the 2014 NAM and sold them here at RNA Music and then proceeded to order more. So technically, technically we're the first retailer in America to sell a Chapman guitar commercially. But this is the very first Captain and check it out. There's a real problem with the uh, the neck pickups always seem to sink into the body. So I'm not sure what's up. We raise them up and then they come back in. So I need to take a peek at that. I'm going to go ahead and take all the strings off, clean the fretboard. You can see quite grimy boy plays this thing good for him but yeah plays it a lot so we're gonna restring this baby get her all cleaned up and get her tweaked and set ready for our student I'm listening to Misha Mansour write a song uh, while I'm working that's usually what I have to do and I have YouTube going while I work normally I use the new music nomad f1 oil uh, to treat fretboards and I and clean them which I really like uh, today, because I'm on a bit of a time crunch to get this done, I'm going to use the Dunlop fretboard oil. Fretboard cleaner works great if you have a lot of grime you want to get off. It works fantastic for that. And then I'm going to come back and treat it with the Music Nomad F1 uh, and then get it restrung. See what's going on with these pickups. But uh, trying to get this back to them. We close early today and I want Mason to be able to practice guitar over the weekend. I do like the Music Nomad little brush here. Use it a lot. Okay, 
I'm gonna start cleaning. Yeah, that really got the extra crap off the fretboard. It took me about a minute and a half to clean all that. So really good. Now I'm gonna use the F1 oil. Get it treated. Now some of y'all know that about a year ago we had a truck come off the highway and hit another truck and then crash into our building and crash into our car, totaled our car, left a big hole in the side of our building. And thanks to butthole insurance companies being buttholes, we just now finally got the, the wall fixed. Hey, it's fixed. Finally, a year later. So. What you just saw is one of our students' parents and brother. So Nathan came in uh, and welded us. He's a welding inspector out on the pipelines, and he is a, a welder for funsies. <laughs> and uh, he made us a guardrail from just some scrap pipe they had laying around their farm. And he's like, hey, I can fix you something to keep cars from crashing into RNA music. And he did, check it out. Now, right now, it's laying on its side, right? So we're gonna stand it up. This is it's laying down. We're gonna tip it over, right? And we're gonna move it uh, out a little bit this way. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna have to, or Nicholas is gonna have to dig some holes and we're gonna pour some concrete and sink this sucker in the ground. And we're gonna have us a heavy duty guardrail to protect our building and protect our students and protect myself from getting smashed by cars. So thank you, Nathan. So excited, thank you, man. Uh, maybe next weekend we'll get the holes dug and get this thing sunk. Not today though, not today. <laughs> all right, we really have the best students and best parents uh, all around, uh, they're great. We really appreciate them, and they do things like this, help us out, um, <laughs> keep us safe, and keep their kids safe. It's great. I, I really appreciate them, uh, Nathan and Shannon and Aaliyah. You guys are awesome. Aaliyah's been a fantastic student of ours for a couple of years now, and she kind of just graduated from guitar to drums, so she's starting a drum journey, which is very fun, and um, yeah, but I'm super grateful. I'm gonna go home now. It is uh, about 30 minutes past closing time. So I'm gonna go home and do some stuff at the house to see what's going on there. See you guys in a little bit. We're headed to Athens to take our nephew, Sean, back home. There's Sean. Y'all been playing video games? Yep. What have you been, what have you been playing? Call of Duty. Call yeah. of Duty? I played Minecraft for a while. Minecraft. Yeah. Which one's more tactical, Minecraft or Call of Duty? It depends. <laughs> it depends. Tactical Minecraft. <laughs> Alright, so we're headed to Athens to take him home. And we'll be back headed to camp, so check it out. Just came out of game exchange. What did we get? A surprise. A surprise. Tell me what it is. It's a surprise. It's not a surprise. It's Halo Reach. It's a surprise. Because apparently we've lost our Halo Reach. We have the case for it, right? Uh. Somewhere. No. no? We just. Okay, it's completely lost. Well, for five bucks. Five bucks. In Athens, Texas, you can get Halo Reach for your Xbox 360.
Remember that? They suck on that one. I gotta get better sides. Not bad, man. Aim a little higher. There you go. Whew. I like that was <laughs> Why you put your oh, pull the trigger up? Oh, it's not a loud one. <laughs> this one's damn. I think. What's that? Oh. Okay. Not the one I was aiming at. I was aiming at the first one this whole time. <laughs> well, it was the sights. Do some, uh, rifles. That's an issue now. Left cage, top left. 